Uh, can you describe the process of a private audit, like from the moment that the clients reach out to you, then you get the code, the uh, solidity line of codes, so you give them a quote. How is the audit going? Uh, just let us uh, go through you with the whole process from the beginning to the mitigation and giving them the final report and charging the money. So how does it look like? Sure. Yeah, so basically all of my clients probably 95% of my clients are coming from Twitter. It's like in, inbound requests. They just slide into my DMs uh, from having seen some of my posts. Or sometimes I get clients through referrals as well. Uh, but they're not forced referrals. As I said this morning, one of my clients just said, can I refer you to another founder? I said yes. Uh, but yeah, clients just reach out by themselves. They, they ping me. They say, Hello, uh, we would like to get an audit. What is the price and everything? And I start asking asking questions. I say, of course, nice to meet you. Some some normal uh, human stuff. And then I ask them questions about what their actual needs are. I want to understand what they really need. Do they need an audit? When do they need an audit? How big is their code base? Do they need uh, to audit the whole code base or just a part of it? Have they had previous audits? Is their code forked? I ask a lot of questions like this to, to get a sense and get a feel of uh, what their actual needs are so I can provide a great service to them and to see what and to scope what my actual work would be. And then after all of those questions, uh, we can discuss what their budget is or I can give them a quote in terms of pricing. And I always uh, take 50% prepayment upfront which I have had no problems now, over 30 clients. I always do this same way. I get 30%, uh, 50% payment, prepayment. I always get paid in crypto as well. I have good accountants who account my money in a good manner here in Bulgaria. And when I get the prepayment, I usually do a pre-audit review. I have shared this on Twitter already, but I can share it again now. I do a, this pre-audit review, which is a great thing where I clean up the code base from some stupid stuff like open to do's, stale comments, uh, redundant code, uh, just some best practices that usually are in a QA report on Code Arena. I give them those recommendations. Uh, they fix them really quickly. And then after those fixes are in, we freeze the code and uh, I actually start looking into serious security vulnerabilities, trying to attack the code in every way possible, thinking as a black hat, reading documentation, getting into the depth of it. And here I'm already starting to write my reports, starting to write some technical documentation, as, as I said, the happy use case or whatever. I start having some notes uh, for some low, medium, high critical severity vulnerabilities. And I'm asking a lot of questions in the chat with the client. And uh, yeah, this usually takes, I don't know, um, on average, an audit takes a week because I work with small call bases usually. And when I'm done with the audit, I tell them just that I'm done with the report and I will send them the initial version. So I send it to them. Then they send the other 50% of the money. And from there, uh, we discuss the report. We have a, I, I gather feedback from them and they start applying fixes that I have given as recommendations or different fixes that they have decided. And in two or three days, I review the fixes. I go over their commits that have diffs on GitHub. I review the fixes. I review that they, they haven't added any more security vulnerabilities and that they have actually fixed and patched the old ones. And when this is done, I, I add the latest uh, reviewed commit hash by myself in my audit report uh, and they send them i send them over the, the audit report i upload it on github and that's it i thank them for uh, working with them i say i had a great time i would love that they would refer me to other clients or i would love that if we do uh, business together again stuff like this the, the normal usual stuff that humans should do and and yeah this is how it works and I have had over 30 clients now. All of them have been happy. I have been posting a lot of screenshots of uh, discussions with happy clients. None of them have been written by myself or by my friends. All of the messages are real. Clients are very happy. And yeah, this is, this is the process pretty much. Thank you for sharing the process. This is very interesting. We have some similar process, but we are actually charging the other 50% after the mitigation review is over. So after we help them and we give them the final report with all the status, this is where we charge the other 50%. And this is very cool.